Welcome back. Gaiman versus Liquid will be the game that we'll be casting. And then as we're going to be looking at the playoff bracket here. So upper bracket, Betboom versus Falcons. And then the lower bracket, which we're focusing on today. Uh, what do you think is the build then on the hero? Because I think the axe is really cool and also pretty damn good in this game. All these heroes rely on getting to use their spells. I think something along the lines of getting uh -oh. really fast. Raggio, B tier carry potentially. He's going to throw out the axes, but that will be first blood for Insania. It was a play thing. I think just killing this timber cell is probably only going to happen at level two. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Willow's going to take the top just because there's no point in getting blocked. Insania getting slow. Brambles come out. Whirling axes from Dorachi onto 33. Gets the net. 33 trying to get out with that flame break. Makes his way out of the maze, but it's not quite enough as Toto Ooh, finds it in the end. Dorachi limping away. Yeah. Tofu getting gun on. Meanwhile, bottom lane that leaves Ace to his own devices, but does have the two in reactive armor, so. Yeah, so he's stacking his camp behind him, I guess, with Shrapnel, since he just used it. And eight, eight in a room coming. It will be bottom. It's the shield. It's the first Shrapnel points put in. Is Quinn looking to get a kill here? Gets oh, the damage. Launcher, too, but the damage coming out from Nisha is ridiculous. Luckily for Quinn, had the illusory orb up, so we'll be able to get out. If 3-3 really has Glyph there, I think it just came back. If he has Glyph, he actually probably kills the Roger there. Yeah. Nicely done. That's Disruption good. into the Shadow Realm, or the Brambles, I should say. Easy pick off as 33 takes the tumble. Ace, though, <laughs> getting triple teamed here. One versus three. They can't get this. This would be very brutal. Another Timber Chain is up, and it's able to TP out. So if they get some kill randomly on this Io or the Marcy, they're even bringing the troll. Yeah. I like this move big from Dorachio. The There's the coil to start things out. Only on the Mickey for now, but that is the big prize. There's a TP coming in. We're only Axe has applied the Boxy. Tethers to Mickey under the cover of the, tr of the tower. And 33 has made his rotation over. It will be disrupted. Rambles to throw down as well. Ace trying to take out Boxy, but so far everyone from Liquid is relatively healthy, but still overwhelming numbers from Gaming Gladiators. Finally, they'll take down the IO. Here comes Sniper. Close from Nikkei. Sniper coming in. Nisha <laughs> helping out to kill off Celery. So support for support so far. As through the gate, Duraccio goes. No way he does. Oh, Sniper's oh, actually here. Yeah, Sniper is made. This is uh, four members of Liquid just pounding on Ace. And finally, they cut through the Timber Saw. Yeah. Sniper's like completely relying on Marcy and Bat to start every single fight. So, and the Bat doesn't want to tell Blink. Yeah, Gwen opening it up. He's terrorized with the coil, so that's going to be a snap to Mickey. They're trying to focus down the IO first, but able to get away. Swap now from Insania, trying to focus on Quinn. Rebound connect. Has he lose your out? The dispose was there. He's really slow. He's just going to get taken out by a casual right click from Mickey. And now Gaiman on the run. Even Nisha has come. So much damage. Expects this at all. Uh, Good read if he gets out. Yeah, like that. Nice. So there, Mastracho does have his ult. And that looks like it will only delay the inevitable here yeah. as he is taken out swiftly by Liquid, who now have a 4k lead. Can like have a chance at coming back. Mm -hmm. And so they basically needed to devise a plan as a way to get this yeah. tower. Do you think it... Because sometimes I think it's easier as... Okay, oh, Ace, Ace died. See you later. So. Luckily for, Li for Liquid, they have a lot of other uh, sources of damage. He's spotted. That should be a freebie. Something Mickey, I believe, has his Ags coming very shortly. Yeah. Something crazy is that Mickey is above the troll in that way. When the troll's like battle mm. theory farming really fast. Yeah, that's true. I can see his, I mean, Maelstrom farming. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same concept. I guess he's got a couple of Oh, boy, he might be caught out. He is destroyed. Man, they have been on top of Quinn all game. Assassinate, not going to go through. Oh, yeah, trying nice to go try. for the rebound. <laughs> They're looking at Duraccio. Oh, oh, wants to oh, they know he's here. Lasso. They will run into him very shortly. Insania. There's the magic missile. 33 jumping in. As the lasso will wait for Mickey to come in and finish the job. Duraccio gets the ult off. Wait. But this will just delay it. Eventually the troll will fall again. 7k lead for Liquid. As you can see, Gaiman. They oh, they're on the reload. Up. They want to try and find somebody. Oh, Timber Chain misses. That's not a good way to start. Catch. An air ball, as they would call it. <laughs> Mr. Kezu. Good job getting in the NBA. It used to be in the what does this mean, research? You guys have special programs now? <laughs> we have a lasso. Dark will into the low ground. Tofu will drop. I'm sure things have uh, evolved quite a bit in the research department since I was involved in that area.
they can just maybe just end the game. Just walk together as five. Don't do anything else. Yeah, Damon have to get something out of this initiation onto 33. The baby swaps from the right. stadium. Warling actions on the three heroes. So Mickey's going to start missing already. Two dead for Liquid just like that. But the buyback now is Zorachi pop the BKB. And his ult going to town on the Mickey. But Mickey is more than healthy thanks to the IO support. And this Axe is ripping through them. Double kill for Nisha as the Gaiman Gladiators heroes are dropping like flies. It's gonna be really hard to somehow smoke around and get on Nisha. That will be the only fight I could ever see go better for them. But they're gonna be even more behind than they were before this fight. And already, a melee rack will be going down in favor of Liquid. Yep. Gaiman, not much they can do. This is, this is another game, kind of unique. Okay, so and what do Gaiman need to do if Nisha doesn't bite, or no one bites on Liquid. No one bites? <laughs> like, no one bites the bait. Start, like, dropping your items. Okay. <laughs> Gwen, all right, already at half HP. Oh. Rebound. He is dead. He bit. Just like that, he bit up way more than he could chew. That Shawarma <laughs> was way smiling. too large for him. And this is going to be a second lane of racks for Liquid. They could steal the Tormi if they want. I don't know if it's worth the time at this point. Backdoor protection kicks in, but it is only Kills just the range racks. Oh. So, I mean, they want to like wait a bit for Quinn to respawn, right? Maybe if, go on the back line. If they find both supports, like the Venger and the Io staying next to each other, it's Sania. It All right, be gonna spot him now. The Shiva's coming in from Ace. Timber chain and Wayne Boxy. Gonna pop them back in to stay alive. Mickey jumping in, forcing BKB onto Duraccio. Already Ace is dead. Duraccio forced to use the ult, and now the kiting begins. But the root is there. They might be able to take out Mickey. They do. That is not the Aegis carrier. They will lose the troll in the end. Those buyback now on the Shadow Demon. The coil from Quinn. Into the Terrorize. A little bit late though, and there's the last of Quinn dies again. And that should do it. As Nisha still very healthy, still with Aegis, and still with that gun. As GG's are called, quick dominating game number one. Welcome to game number two between Liquid and Gaming Gladiators. I've seen a lot of goals on this hero go poorly after level six. Ace getting slowed. He's Blood dead. grenades there. He is done though. Mickey gets first blood. That is not good news. Nope. For the side of Gaiman. Tofu now on the run. Just can take some harassment damage. Oh, that's, that's actually interesting. interesting. And okay. In addition, since it's a clone, when you buy Wind Waker, you actually can move when you're clone. Wait, what? So that's cool. That's really cool. Boxy, tag team oh, we'll applies. We'll see if we get there. comes out from Ace. Boxy will die. Tofu looks like he's going to walk away safely. As Duraccio, this is the bigger kill, gets off the concoction, but he knows he's going to die here. Can you kill they the split the too? gold. No. A lot of five right now is based on this camp. This Duraccio is going on. Yeah, blood grenade is there. Concoction is coming. We'll use it, but he's already taken heavy damage. Six. Pops the wand. And one more right click might be able to do it, and they get the vision thanks to the sticky. So 33 lives. Sania picks up the kill. A little close for comfort. Yeah, I think supports a lot about these. Sorry, you don't get to talk. <laughs> don't speak anymore, Boxy. It's the back supply to him by Ace. Pop the wand gets the crush off as well, but Boxy, very healthy and nice shards there from Toph is going to kill the courier as well. So the six minute rune, they did refill Nisha's bottle, which was very needed. He was dropping very low. Gonna guess bottom. Sania. Yep. Snowballed on. Nice eye shards onto Nisha. As Boxy coming into play as well. Tofu's gonna get disposed back into the fray and drop as a result. Concoction for 33. Tofu's here as well. That should be an easy one for Gaiman. Tofu gets credit for that. He's buying Mjolnir on TA, right? Yeah. I think if, if his hero can buy the item, he's going to buy Maelstrom. Tofu's going to get dragged back. Trying to punish him yeah, for stealing their wisdom. But here comes Duraccio. Snowball there with Kakashi. as go. well. Insania is dead. 33. Okay. The tag team just ripping through him. There's the... The ult from Duraccio and the beautiful shards as 30. Um, wait, what? Ma wait, uh, Mangostan is coming. Okay. No. Oh. What the? <laughs> the Eight minutes. He was playing a hero that was a little less thick. Perhaps he no, could able to get through there. Ace trying to dodge things out. Gets the crush, but it's a 3v1. He's going to get disposed back and killed. Meanwhile, Nisha is taken out by Quinn. Tofu looks like it's going to be the trade, but 
That's really cool. certainly happy with that as he has the arcane runes activated right now. Ten minute rune. Yeah, Misha won't be able to get it. No blink. Quinn is greeted by a Marcy though. He's in a lot of trouble. No blink for five seconds. He is done so. That rune ends up basically killing him. It's yep. a huge rotation from Liquid. Celery now getting gone on another spark as he has to dodge. Yeah, looks like he's gonna be able to Hold get some help hand, from brother. Tofu. Tanking that up. Celery. Through the minefield he goes, he shall survive, but now pressure to the tier one. I, I first started seeing it a lot from Collapse when you play Primal. Yeah. Um, yeah, Primal seems like the easiest in Dead Tier. Sonic Wave on to Nisha. Tofu's gonna deny die first. No deny to come, so Quinn gets the better of that matchup again. Shikuchi from Mickey, but Celery's on the high ground with that black hole ready to go. I guess also like the yeah, like it's a little faster, but then maybe a bit worse later. Yeah, but it gives you the evasion, which is kind yeah, of yeah. It makes you tanky, right? Yeah. On your your first time. Avoiding the lasso for now, gets off the punch along with the snowball. Quinn making his way over as well as Ace is in the fray, but he's gonna get lassoed up. Unleashed, it's but a big stun wave comes out into a black hole. Only on the Marcy though. We'll be able to clean her up. Nice shard blocking off Nisha for now as Quinn gets the shadow strike off. He's all alone though. We'll blink away. Duraccio gets the chemical rage off. Trying to focus down somebody, but he's going to get slow. Concoction will have to be used. It's on Nisha, but now Duraccio with that Spirit Vessel applied is not regening very much. Ooh, Spark Wraith not quite enough to finish him off. Now Insania and company will likely have to retreat. Quinn, does he want to get greedy here? Nisha is going to use the Tempest double. To scare off the rest of Gaiman, and I think that might break things up. The initiation on the Mickey. going to have time to use Shikuchi, but he gets punched into the air. Can he get the time lapse up? Nope. There's the Sonic Wave. Bossy was in the vicinity. We'll have to rebound to safety, and now the Tier 1 tower will be game as well. Oh, no. Lead as uh, Quinn. Uh oh. Or to use his blink, will now TP. And oh! Barely dies. That was super close. Speaking of smoke, this smoke. This could be it. They're going to try to start things out here. Boxy is going to break it. Concoction's yeah. coming. He's going to take a double stun. The more. Artwork bubble's there. Concoction onto the Enchantress. So they get the two supports. As Nisha, like the double, the ended up dropping. That's a good amount of gold. Just, they give themselves the ability to kill heroes. Whether yeah. or not it happens, you still like have this map for it. Duraccio, he runs into several members of Liquid who all run away, assuming that somebody's next to him, but that is not the case. Concoction on himself. The rest of the team is over here as the Sonic Wave with the Black Hole from Celery is used. Basically, only the Marcy did, and now the double to follow. And the lasso initiation with the Shivas as well. This is going to be a dead Duraccio. Pop the BKB. So he's getting those extra regen, but no. Mickey ends up getting netting the last hit as he picks up the newly picked up Maelstrom and the extra proc. So a huge kill for Liquid. Is now Celery going to be left alone? As for now, I mean, Liquid are doing a very good job at evading this Aegis. Like, nothing has happened in the last, like, two-ish minutes. Which maybe I'm cursing okay. Mickey. Oh, I actually use his oh, time, time lapse, lapse into the board. might be his demise, and indeed it is. Duraccio gets credit for that one, so a huge kill for Gaiman. I mean, that, there is another ward for Liquid to the right. But they're also playing on a Gaiman ward on the high ground. Find the sword he's an axe, Very tanky boy. Doesn't have a puddle quite yet. Finally gets the off river. the crush. Now he's tanky and unkillable. Sonic Wave puts Boxy on the high ground. Maybe he'll take out the Tuscan Toe as Ace now on the run. Okay, not a whole lot of men to work with, but he's going to continue the chase. Rebound Rancho's does cooking. connect. That is a dead celery. Or is he cooking? The Rancho, he, cooking. he wants cooking. to fight. Concoction finds the Marcy. But again, this is just the support you're going for. We'll pop the he's BKB and TP will be successful, but it's a two for one in Holy favor of Liquid as Ace just barely gets out. And it's not done not yet. Quinn, though. Quinn does take out 33, That's but he ticks out to the Spirit Vessel. Lots of kills back and forth. It's true. Cross of Haze gives you puddles as well for some reason. Yep. Oh, Nisha. Oh. Okay. This is a big jump. spotted. Blackmere is there. Massive TP's coming in from Liquid. Can they save it? Good jump by Duraccio. No. That is a dead Nisha. Duraccio is going to continue on. Boxy. Will pop the ult, but likely will fall yeah, shortly fighting. after. Indeed he will, and there's the black ball on the Mickey. Concoction just in case. Down goes the Weaver. So just like that, Gaiman flipping the script. Weaver had to go quite near. He couldn't go Mjolnir. The, it's like just Batrider, really. Roger, of course, they get 
Oh, BKB oh, off. Quinn will just blink away. They get the melee racks. Can they get out with their lives? Sonic Wave. Boxy's just dead. Garacha gets a nice concoction off. Ace. Looks like he's going to be the ultimate sacrifice, but nice collecting round of two. Seller's going to be next five. on the list. Garacha on the high ground. Great shards from Tofu. But can they even get out of this? Dorachi has to pop his ult. But oh. all the pressure to 33 slaps him into next week. Now goes for Nisha. Doraccio, B tier carry by half. <laughs> Mickey, time lapses there. He's getting stunned. Nice back for Doraccio. That's an A tier carry bad for sure. And four dead for Liquid. There we B -tier go, B tier. Carry's done. My goodness. No, Quinn. we're maybe not done yet. Yeah, doesn't have Sonic Way, but. Rachio is going to help finish off the range racks. Alk will give you the full gold, whether it's a Roshax or a Here Lasso. Or a lasso, mini. lasso initiation. Okay. They get rid of the kick. Not so scary anymore. Five versus four. Duraccio, he wants to go in deep. Abyssal Blade. Quinn double looking in to get Not the Sonic Wave. Double force on Anisha. He will survive. And now, Gaiman. He's kind of a very precarious deep. spot. Yeah, now the BKB is Black down. Definitely oh, jumps in with a BKB into absolutely nothing. Oh, Ace. Bash is there. Oh, he got the Marcy. That's a buyback instantly, though. And a lot of minus armor applies to Duraccio. That is a dead alchemist. He's dead. And the Enigma is next. This is really bad for Gaiman. Pulling a bit of a Betrum Season, there's team. a bug on him. <laughs> they it is a did this a few oh. times in the tournament. Flip flop, Mickey. flip flop. Life near so Ace, super fast. He'll be fine. But... Still, only just the Marcy because that feels like the hero that they've been targeting almost yeah. in a lot of cases. And, and to be fair, Boxy is kind of equipped to eat that L2 with yeah. all his Wraith Bands, Lotuses. Uh -huh. People will take it yeah. one more time. Lasso is there. 33 getting bounced around all over the place. Ends up on the high ground of the cliff. His ace trying to reach up there. Looks like they'll finally get the kill. They lose the tusk again, though. So it's a one for one. Sonic Wave and the Missile Blade. That is nice a dead shot. Weaver. No buyback from Mickey. The Tempest Double will follow suit. Sania now on the run, so just like that, Gaiman <laughs> basically take back all their lead. Yeah, D so much. might be on that. So like D is like, like what? Or it's like already the worst anyway? Like D is that far down? That's Nisha. Nisha is caught off, but Lincoln's. Lincoln's. Definitely That's an S tier oh, Wait, the bash? Okay. The guaranteed abyssal bash? Nisha oh. might be in some trouble so. now. Sonic Wave hits four heroes. Duraccio onto the high ground, wants to finish the job. Nisha with a double bubble, it's not enough to Black survive. Hole. Black hole is there as well. Onto two, Mickey drops to the deck. No buybacks. Another kick coming out, double kill for Quinn. They're actually quite low on a majority of the heroes here for Gaiman, but it matters not, as only two survive with the buyback coming through from Insania. You go to the end game and you're like, it's Sania, why you did suck. you pick Enchantress? <laughs> you lost us this game. When your offlane is like cooldown reliant to jump. It's not like he was a centaur, right? With the blink, he's like a bat. You only can jump every 100 seconds. Sonic Wave. Yeah, very good. That's a kill. 33 buys back. And right, now the choppity chop from Garaccio. Lasso, Lasso, that's the Aghanim Scepter. Oh, but he gets go. kicked into the Ooh. Nether Realm. And we'll have to think this over as we will go to a game number three because Gaiman can tie it all up. We'll have it no other way. Welcome to game number three. Sunset here with Kezu and Gunner. Perfect timing, Reginald. Very good display. As again, if oh. you're just joining us, Wait, 33 to is about to him. die. Concoction good on job. himself. Oh. Come on, Celery. Good attempt. So Enigma's going to have a really good game just because of these kills. Yeah. Naracho popping that war cry. Avalanche coming out. Concoction will not be propped. Wow. No. Instead, nice it's timing. on himself and 33. With the Killing help of spree, Tofu, baby. yeah, Celery, three kills now. I mean, yeah. they definitely buffed it nicely over time. Yeah. Why do we stop seeing Wyvern off lane? Or is Tofu going to TP into the top lane? 33, Not can they stop the concoction again? He's going to be forced <laughs> to use it oh my. on himself again. But no deny comes out. Duraccio takes another kill for himself. This lane is a disaster for Liquid. Yeah, I think it's like one piece of I think he's got the record already. <laughs> Blocked a bit. Yeah, Tofu's Tofu getting some action here from Insania. Double damage, or sorry, amplified oh, damage is oh, there. Oh, he got it. Denied. Yeah, the deny right, just in time. He actually did deny it. Quinn wastes resources with it's that like blink. Quinn's. Uh oh. He's manning up here against Two Nisha. Two seconds of blink. Mal's is there. Out. Quinn has the sonic wave. Will oh. blink out just in time with the sonic wave. High Nisha up. onto the high ground. Cold embrace keeps him safe for the time being, but maybe that provides some opportunity for Celery and Company oh. to be there to help out the toss back. And TA oh. on the other side of the sprout will still fall. 
very clowny exchange here from both teams as Insania will be able to TP out. That's true. I'm, I'm not sure, but if you're Liquid right now, you don't really have an offlane. Boxy, Avatos. Quinn is there with the Shadow Strike on the Boxy. Celery looks like he's going to go. This is a killing tree. This is actually a decent amount of gold. Sonic Wave comes in. No deny to follow, so Boxy drops blink, it in. A oh, we blinked trade. In. Quinn with no blink to work with. Mickey with the slow on the power shot. The focus fire still applied. Nice kill. Easy pickoff for him. Good rotation from Mickey. Because the wall slow, plus mm -hmm. the Shiva slow is like 70 or 80%. Mm -hmm. And it also increases your damage from Iron Show, increases the co-op damage. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little surprised. I mean, that maybe he feels that aura. just because it's some... Already at half health, we'll have to blink away as the Invis Rune is taken by Ace in the bottom section. Rock Kill, nice God of Strength, Hold Embrace, good timing. Buys Insania a little okay, bit of time, Mickey with... Okay, Sonic Blade comes out, the Power Shot almost killed off Quinn. And Mickey now using the Focus Fire to kill off a support here in the trees, just needs vision, and we'll find it. Ends up being a one-for-one one. again, just supports dying here. Be just rewarded for the Tier 1 now. I think Tofu. Tofu. They spot Dota. Tofu. Dota gives back. If you do something good, you get rewarded. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a quelling, huh? Or they ate the wrong three, maybe. His ace actually TP's in. Focus oh, fires oh, in. Oh, 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 oh. He's canceled for literally no reason, but it's actually used against him now as his teammate is beating the shit out of him as Quinn comes in with a scream of pain. There's the wall on top of Mickey. Oh, Mickey's dead. He is completely surrounded and will die to, again, another unnecessary spell from Duraccio as a one-for-one one ensues in favor of Ganon this time. Not over yet, though, Quinn. We'll try to focus down 33. No Go more ult for him. Concoction. <laughs> I feel like we've seen this a few times now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, they denied oh, they get the deny this time. Shadow Strike being applied. It Very worked out this time. 14 minute wisdom. Duraccio. Oh, this, no. another I concoction. Think we've seen this before. Oh, this God. Is this, is this a, a replay? replay? Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. And uh, Tofu will get that. But Liquid do get the other one. Duraccio now taking a ton of damage as Nisha has made his way over, trying to deny himself. But Nisha claims the kill. I mean, he could just buy a Blink Dagger and like use the Dagger in and then the spell out. But then what if you get silence when you Dagger in? Oh, that oh. happens. Oh. Jackal this not going to hit Jackal. Ace. Puts down his wall. Focus Fire is ripping through him. And he's just dead despite having Love the Surge on. But Mickey going to be inside the Sprout. But... Tofu's brought back into the fray. Ooh. The Sonic Wave on the Mickey, despite that cold embrace Deny being him. upon him. Deny oh, is coming. He did get it. No. He got it. Oh, did they get it? He did get Jeez. it. Yeah, he did get it. Great deny from Boxy from Quinn. Avalanche onto the high ground. Celery Boxy, and Quinn no. waiting for him. Boxy all alone, but the curse from afar. Slap him. Tofu on the other side, though, is able to continue to right-click Boxy. The Greaves come out. Boxy knows that he's dead. And Insania dies as well. So both supports for Liquid drop. I, I gave up calling it Thank you. damage. I have there. good logic for that. We're going to have initiation from Boxy, but Darachi trying to turn this around with the God Strength. Looks like Lips. Quinn's able to TP out or Nisha blink out just in time to Sonic Nisha Wave now to Nisha. Deep. He is dead. No buyback either as they lose the Wyvern as well. Boxy, Spear Vessel applied. Double kill for Quinn. Three dead for Liquid. Countering Sun. Quinn going for Parasma. He's going to be spotted. Or Shackle. blink. Shackles He's there. Dead. Easy pick. Ooh. Wait. Gets off the Illusion Rune, but still. Too much damage to withstand. A power nice shot stun. onto two into the beautiful Avi from Cook. Boxy. That is a dead celery and uh -oh. ace. So just like that, the last team fight from Gaiman basically nullified now. I always forget the name of that one. Concoction's coming for 33. Quinn is found. Meld strike from afar. Trap is that enough? Absolutely. They use the trap just in case for the silence. As Boxy, oh, not able to get the toss he was looking for, but it'll be in the air. Celery now. Ooh, the barely pav. living. Have his focus fire on a Duraccio. Oh, Concoction's right. coming for you. 33. Ooh. We'll eventually use it, but no stun to come out of it. They have a good ward on Liquid. I see Tofu as well. Yep, Tofu. Shackle. Do they have a stun? Yes. Shackle this time. A lot of trees to back them up. I would say I, I definitely think Gaming actually have. Oh no! Oh, Again, another oh, connection no. on to Quinn. But he gets forced Is out. There's a the silence again from the traps, and he just has no way to escape. Oh, celery spotted. Will be right click. Duraccio not afraid. Looks like he has a shield rune applied, glowing. But celery spotted out. Ooh, Sonic yeah. Wave will not hit anything. That is not a good start for game. Just a man in Duraccio. It's going to get Yulsed. 
Tofu and company going in pretty deep. 33 is already applied. That spirit vessel making on the sideline, continuing to silence Darachi with the pop of the BKB. There's the vacuum and the wall. It's just on Mickey you though. Out the off. And Liquid forcing out so many spells and items, and now they can probably find a beautiful toss, toss into a triple avalanche. Celery looks to be dead. Tofu is definitely next. Nisha in the trees, but they just don't have the damage. Quinn will have to blink away. Duraccio finally finishes off Nisha, jumping in with that god strength, but now being controlled thanks to the avalanche, thanks to the toss. Mickey on the sideline, continuing to right click, will eventually find the kill as well. A four for two, oh, as Ace, the lone member of Game and Alive. Nope. Will blink. Shoot. Avalanche oh, he is him. there. He's going to get and tossed toss. back, somehow finding the range. Triple kill for 33. They group like three I heroes, think they need, heroes. I don't know how they can do it, but I think they need to allow Celery to play a slow fight, in my opinion. And Celery is going to spot out Boxy. Okay. There's the Superman coming in again. Shackle's going to connect onto Quinn. Wow. There's the curse to follow. Do they have the follow-up damage and stun? There's the vacuum wall onto three heroes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nisha getting extremely low. Looks like Quinn is about to drop as well. Actually blinks to safety for the time being. Gets off the Sonic Wave as well. A double buyback from Liquid. Triple. Make it triple. They want to finish this Quadruple. if they can. Duraccio with the double kill. Mass TPs now. This game just got really interesting. Celery does fall. Still maintains that black hole and still has his buyback intact. I find this seven blink. Yep. Four staff for Mickey, they're gonna find him. There's the shackle, focus fire. Back. We'll be able to yeah. clean him up. Double kill for Mickey. I like Disperser instead of Boots. It's Warcry. basically nice. They have the thing. silence from the Mind Breaker. Tofu not able to get the connection. You can just get hold Mickey on. popping the BKB. Gets the Celery. shackle onto oh Celery. My. Just a casual kill as he's running away. And Duraccio is just gonna be solo cursed. And now that Liquid have reset, 33. Looking to potentially Big go back stun. into Satanic. Is there nice? Job from Boxy again. Duracio. Toss. Gonna be able to dodge some spells, but that's the dispel from Duraccio Shard. Sonic Wave coming in with Ace. Not able to get the connection yet with the vac wall as Boxy will be saved via the cold embrace. Need to get out. And two dead for Game and Gladiators, including Ace, who did actually expend the the wall on the other side. They're gonna find the nature's profit as well. So just like that. Feels like a very casual fight from, from Liquid. Definitely have a good team to push these towers between the three of those cores. Looking to finish the Daedalus, but wants to maintain. Boxy plays a really nice ward already. Oh. Mickey, ult the oh, Shackle no. shot. And they stop everybody else from helping. Oh. He's actually before set to the other side. We'll pop his ult and the BKB. Satanic is there, but now he has nobody to hit. To the hit focus dead. fire destroys him. Has to buy back, but no God Strunk is there. You see the Sonic Wave into the black hole. A lot of damage done, but is it enough? Double buyback now from Game and Gladiators. Meanwhile, Liquid has lost no one. And the concoction again, self stun 33, one more time. Quinn jumps in. There's the cold embrace to save the Alk. Again, remember, Duraccio with no god strength. Gaiman are going to have to do something about this. There's the avalanche. Oh, they find the nature's profit right away. Vac Look wall at the tree only to Yeah, tree volley doing quite a bit to Duraccio. He's already at half HP, has to pop the satanic, but he's in 33. Will be cold embraced and saved. Can't deal any damage. Mickey can't get the shackle shot off, but he gets the focus fire. There's the ghost scepter though. On to Ace. Gonna try to turn this around to Mickey instead. Duraccio taking so much damage from Nisha. This High ground, Pavis, the Pavis <laughs> saves him, but will not save their barracks. Still the ages for Nisha, by the way. So. Mr. Quinn Callahan, 33 now. Gonna be up close as well. One tier four dead. And so Shiva's this pop from 33. Ace looking for connection. He only gets the vacuum onto an illusion. We'll have to back away now. Duraccio, war crying. All right, black holes up. Reeves is applied now. Tier four dead. Ancient completely exposed. Quinn, they have to do something now. Duraccio, okay, Sonic Wave. I may have clipped Mickey, but that's about it. That's Dodge. not going to be near enough. They need to help him. As Focus Fire will rip through Duraccio. He is dead for two full minutes. No buyback. Celery black comes hole. in with the black hole. Midnight Pulse doing a little bit of damage. Ace, it's not happening. Game goes to Liquid. Series goes to Liquid. GGs are called. And Gaiman are knocked out of the tournament.